Frida. I'm Jory. And I'm Dylan. Today is Monday, February 13th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. This announcement is for any student who is in interested in attending a job shadow opportunity lead to one of the following careers. Manufacturing, police, firefighter, EMT, human services, which include social work, early childhood education, psychology, as well as construction related careers. The Lancaster Chamber of Commerce has set up a job shadow panel for each of these careers in the upcoming weeks. During these sessions, you will have the opportunity to interact with professionals in these fields and can learn more about these careers which may be more difficult to shadow due to confidentiality and safety concerns. If you're interested, you must complete a job shadow pre-excused absence form as these shadow opportunities take place during the school day. The deadline to sign up in the counseling office is Thursday, February 23rd. If there are not enough interested students, these sessions will not run, so stop by now and sign up. If you have any questions, be sure to see your counselor. Now for Jory with lunch. For lunch today, we have chicken pot pie on a whole grain roll, chicken parm sandwich, cheese crunchers, cranberry chicken salad on a wrap, chef salad, sweet peas, fresh baby carrots, or celery with dip, chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or a slushy. Now over to Angle with sports. a close match to Warwick on Friday night, 39-30. Picking up wins were Cameron Terry, Tyler Hart, Josh Harbel, Colin Brandt, and Austin Jones. With this win, Austin Jones became the eighth wrestler in school history to win 100 matches. Three Mountaineer winner track and field athletes set new indoor school records at Lehigh University on Saturday. Zach Lefevre in the 3,000 meter run with a time of 8.51.35, Sydney Morgan in the 800 meter run with a time of 2.22.95, and Jenny Young in the 200 meter dash with a time of 27.38. Congratulations on the record setting performances and congratulations to all winter track athletes who competed at Lehigh. Well done. In rifle, effort defeated Manine Township 595 to 594. The match was tied at five shooters at 496. Top six shooters were Molly Kamai with a score of 100, Brianna Bowers with a 99 and two centers, Joel Potts and Kyle Good with two 99s and one center. Madison Miller with a score of 99, Colleen Hurst with a score of 99. This win gave them a record of 11 and 2, 10 and 2 in the league. They were tied for first based on record, but Etown will edge them out with the second tiebreaker, which is match averages. Also in rifle, the following effort of shooters won awards for individuals: Joel Potts fifth place with a score of 199, Madison Miller ninth place with a score of 197 with four centers. Molly Kamai, 10th place, with a score of 197 with two centers. The following effort of shooters won all-star honors for the 2016-2017 rifle season. Joel Potts, 2nd place, with a match average of 99.5. Massa Miller, 7th place, with a match average of 99.2. Molly Kamai, 9th place, with a match average of 99.1. Starting today, girls lacrosse winter warm-ups will be from 3.30 to 5 in the middle school old gym. Practices will be held Monday through Thursday. Spring sports sign-ups. Sign-ups will continue until this Thursday, February 16th. Spring athletic opportunities include boys and girls lacrosse, boys and girls track and field, baseball, softball, boys tennis, and boys volleyball. Students should not come to the athletic office during their class time. The boys basketball team will take on the Lebanon Cedars tonight at Lebanon High School in the quarterfinals of the Lancaster Lebanon League Championships. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Admission for students is $4 and $6 for adults. That's it for sports. Now back to the main desk. Seniors, the top choice for the class 2017 model, motto is we have followed, now we lead. Now that the motto has been selected, it's time for seniors who want to try out to be a graduation speaker to write their speeches. Info and writing and submitting a graduation speech is on the senior page and in the office. 
Speech entries are due April 7th. Juniors, listen up. Mr. Kishball has an announcement just for all of you. Hello, 11th graders. It's Mr. Kishpaw. I'm here to talk to you about an event that we're holding for you on February 16th. On that day, uh, we are going to have over 50 business professionals come in and talk to each and every one of you about um, finances and budgeting once you leave high school. This is going to be a great day. There's lots and lots of games and activities that make this a fun topic to talk about. Uh, I am particularly excited because I saw it happen already at a different school and kids were abuzz about it. The expectations for the day is that you're here and that you're respectful of those individuals um, that, are, that are volunteering their time and to have a good attitude about it all. So I look forward to the day and be on the lookout for some more information coming from uh, your homeroom teachers about the schedule for that day and grouping and uh, other different uh, procedures for that day. Have fun. Attention student drivers, because of the all-day event on Thursday, February 16th, please be mindful that the back parking lot may be full and usual. When, when arriving to school, please consider parking in the upper parking lot near War Memorial Field. Then, thank you. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 16th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. We will be taking a bus to the fair on that day. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packet from Schoology. The first 50 students who return completed packets will be able to attend. That's all for us today, Ephrata. Have a great day. Tell me another duck story. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a corner store and he said to the woman running the store, Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The woman said, no, it's a corner store. I mean, grapes aren't really what we're known for. We've got some grape drinks. The duck said, they kind of stink. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, till the very next day. Bum, 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 ba -dum. The duck walked up to the corner store And he said to the woman running the store Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, oh, it's you again, duck I already told you, you're out of luck We've got some grape gum The duck said, I'll take none Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Till the very next day, bum 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 ba -dum. When the duck walked up to the corner store And he said to the woman running the store Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, look, I'm trying not to shout But please either buy something or get out We don't sell fruit, the duck said I'm kinda cute Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle 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 Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Till the very next day, bum 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 ba -dum. When the duck walked up to the corner store And he said to the woman running the store Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, that's it, the next time you ask for grapes I'm gonna tape you to the wall with this duct tape Do I make myself clear? The duck said, yes dear Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle 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 then he waddled away, waddle waddle, till the very next day. Bum 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 ba -dum. When the duck walked up to the corner store, and he said to the woman running the store, Hey, bum bum bum, got any grape chapstick? What? Got any grape chapstick? Actually, we do. But you don't have any money, do you? Do you think you could? Do you think you could? Do you think you could?